Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at the, here it is here, the Magic Death Eye Compressor from uh, DDMF. So, you know, DDMF's uh, apps are super high pro quality. Um, so this is based on a piece of hardware. And uh, the developer and the guy who made the hardware uh, sorted this out. So, you know, it's 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 very, very close to the original piece of hardware. And it's a very popular piece of hardware as well. So compressors, uh, the not most exciting apps to um, demo in videos, obviously, because of just what they are. Um, but everybody needs one, you know. Um, so, and if you want the best, this is probably uh, probably the best one. Uh, it's a, it's very transparent. It's very clean. I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna just read some bits and pieces of what it says, so we know what's going on. Because I'm not the greatest, uh, you know, audio engineer and, and compressor expert or anything. It's a bally long shot, you know. It's just a keyboard player, man. Anyway, so here we have the the input knob. Here it says input knob is a variable 1k ohm input pad. Okay, so moving along here, the threshold knob here uh, is a just the amount of signal sent to the side chain. And then moving along a little bit further, this button here is the time selector, okay? So number one is very fast attack and release. Two, three, and four are attack and release, sort of get slower over time. D1 is very fast release followed by a medium release. And D2 is fast release followed by a very slow release. And this little switch at the side, the, the attack switch is here. You can see that it's got an S, so slow, slow, medium, and fast. Okay, so I want that on medium, actually. Actually, probably want it on medium. Um, they, they attack switch. Fast, medium, and slow attack time can be set with this switch. It applies. So depending on how you have this set also is dependent on what these are set on as well. And the last one is the 150 hit this little switch here. 150 hertz filter switch. The compressor side chain is less sensitive for, for frequencies below 150 hertz. Okay, so that's that. Uh, so you, people that understand compressors will know exactly what I'm talking about. But it does sound lovely. And so this session is 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 a big session at the moment. I only have uh, three three compressors running. Okay, so this is a session I've used before for different things because it's big. Um, I've got a compressor, I've got a Magic Death Eye and this Ruse Maker. This only thing this is doing is hi-hats. Okay, so, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I've got it on this BS-16, which is uh, playing drums, which have been triggered by this. It doesn't really matter, it's the sound. And then the whole thing has been routed down to a mix bus A and there's a compressor on the overall channel. So it's, it's a subtle, but it's a nice effect. I'm not even sure if you'll hear the effect as good as I'm hearing it after YouTube compress it sort of thing, but we'll see. Anyway, so I'll play the session as it is, and then we'll just drop in the compressors. So I'll drop the one onto the hi-hats first. Now the drums.
So that you don't want that on a master channel, that setting. It's horrid. But the point is you can hear the compressor actually start to work. But you can't hear the compressor. It doesn't colour the sound. It's very smooth. In the actual hardware, I think there's like eight tubes. I mean, the thing is like, you know, really, really good quality hardware. <laughs> So on a master on a master bus, I, I guess a slow maybe on this, maybe even number four. We can push the threshold up. We don't need it to start working immediately. Um, and then we can adjust the input to suit sort of thing, you know. So you can you can kind of get an idea of what's going on with the uh, the, the the meter in. So you, you you're really trying to avoid it it clipping when you do your kind of final mix down sort of thing. That's just that's important, and the compressor will help you do that, and of course the limiters as well. So DDMF make extremely good stuff. Right? Just take let's just take that off the master. But actually, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to solo the drums, but. You get an idea of what we can do with the kit as well. So we'll just solo that uh, drum kit out. Okay, it's nothing, nothing amazing there. Let's set this to something. This is uh, let's set this to sort of a more natural sound and drum kit. Well, it's standard drums are here somewhere. Here we go. Okay. So that's more like your acoustic kit. Let's put the compressor in. Nice. And taking the threshold up is obviously going to decrease the volume a little bit. Because it, it, it's not doing anything, we're just hitting the drum kit. But we want, let's like push the, pull the, let's start to push the compressor on the kit. And we're still pretty much controlling our level, which is good. The compressor's not. I quite like number one. Take that filter off. gives it a much meatier sound as well now like i said it's no it's pointless telling me you don't know what you're doing and because uh, i don't you know when it comes to compressors but i can hear that i like the sound of that <coughs> excuse me Let's have a listen to this as well so th this is very hard to get any reasonable volume out of um it's been played by uh, one of these here. What is it? I can't remember what's playing this Ruse Maker. Could be one of these. Could be playing it too. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, we can drag the volumes up a bit, but. Still not giving it that kick through, you know?
postman is on his way and I'll shut the microphone. I actually really like that.
Oh, well, taking ages and ages. <laughs> It takes time, and that's what you want to be doing. You want to be dialing in your sound. You want to be working with it, you know, till you're really, really happy. Listen, guys, I'm going to go. Watson's gone mad. <laughs> it's the Magic Death Eye um, Magic Death Eye compressor from DDMF. And what you also saw there was the um, Superb EQ as well, the 6144 DDMF EQ. Uh, they, they, they're pretty impossible to make them sound bad, you know, and that's that's a good thing, you know. Anyway, I should put a link in. I'll put a link in for both of them. And, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a patron or making a one-off donation. And I will see you guys later. Ta-da.